Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Cooking with Liam. It's a Halloween special and today I'm joined by a very special guest, Ellie Hempster. Hi. Obviously we've got uh, Cat Fison, camera operator Lady Cat. There it is. And in the background you might hear Dave, maybe. Do you want to say hi Dave? No, he doesn't want to say hi. He says hi, but like, <laughs> quietly. Uh, I'm wearing a new outfit, branded, which was provided by Ellie and Dave. Thank you. You're welcome. And I've got a chef hat. So, so okay, here's a chef Liam top tip. When you're kick -kick cooking and you've got an assistant, in the culinary world, they're called a sous chef. So uh, you're, I mean, you're the sous chef. Which means today. I have to refer to you as chef. Exactly. And I've got the hat on, so if you're watching this for the first time, you know who the chef is. Yeah, because you might get mixed up. We're very similar. Yeah. Um, right. So today, what are we cooking for our Halloween special, Ellie? I literally, I don't know. We're just eyeball, <laughs> eyeballs and fingers. <laughs> Those are the words. Eyeball pasta? It's, a, it's an eyeball pasta, yeah. And hot dog fingers. Yeah, so... Do you want to talk us through the ingredients? Let me, let me do my thing. A uh, hundred grams of cherry tomatoes, a hundred and fifty grams of mini mozzarella balls. I'm just going to stop you there. This isn't mozzarella balls, but that should be fine. This is like lactose less or something. Less lactose, 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 lactose free. It's lactose free because. Why are you asking me so much about the ingredients because... that I have nothing to do with? Thank you. Um, so, we've got some people we're cooking for today. Um, they're lactose intolerant, they don't like lactose, and also <laughs> we've got some vegetarians or vegans, I'm not sure what they are, but <laughs> Chef Liam top tip, always know who you're cooking for. That's very important. Was that um, the one tip that you said this yeah. morning that you wanted to... Okay. It's very important. Like my mum, for example, she has a pork allergy, so if I cook pork for her, I could probably kill her. So it's very important that you know who you're cooking for. Today we're cooking for people that don't like meat or lactose. Yeah, like that's how lactose. that works. <laughs> uh, a handful of basil. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 400 grams of green tagliatelle. That's not green. It's not green. Guys, we're hoping... You guys have ruined this. We're hoping that the pesto will help tint it. Got you. 350 grams jar of tomato sauce. And four tablespoons of fresh pesto. And then sausage stuff, but that's not on this list, Liam. No, so so that's the first meal we're cooking. This is a Chef Liam Halloween special, so we're doing things a bit specially. We're doing two dishes. That's dish number one. Dish number two is bloody hot dog fingers. So for that, you're going to want hot dogs. We've got two varieties, one with meat, for those that like meat, and one without. Um, hot dog rolls and ketchup. So that's everything you need. If you want to join along... Get those ingredients, I guess. Um, what's the number one thing you need to do before you start cooking? Wash your hands. Go wash your hands. Well done, see? Ellie's been watching. Which hat do I use on your hat? That one, yeah. So you wash your hands, you there's some soap there for Carex. You want to use that, and that gets rid of all the germs. Excellent. <laughs> you don't want germs when you cook in. I also need to wash my hands. Yeah. And there'll be a tea towel over there for you. That doesn't help. <laughs> Sorry, I, was... <laughs> I don't want to waste your water. It's fine, there's loads of it. So, okay, to get started, we're going to basically prep all this and be ready to cook it for just before people start getting here. So we're going to start prepping the eyeball pasta. Where's the instructions? There we go there. So what's the first thing we need to do, Ellie? Halve the cherry tomatoes and use a small sharp knife or teaspoon to remove the seeds. So, okay, so because you're not too familiar with the layout of this kitchen, no, I'll get the things for you um, so you can help. I'm going to get two chopping boards and two knives so we can do it together. Perfect. This is so much harder to do when there's chaos happening. There's not... What chaos? She's always going about chaos. No chaos. Yeah, two chopping boards, if you've got a sous chef, they can help. Um, well, I always put them away. Uh, so there's some knives there. If you want to select a knife that you think would be suitable for cutting cherry tomatoes... This one. That's an excellent choice. Would you like to select another one for me? Perfect. This one. Thank oh, you. sorry. Do you want to I'll be fine. One? Now, okay. what you might have seen there was the handing of the knife. <laughs> you're waving this knife around. You've got to be careful. When you're handing a sharp <laughs> object to someone, be careful how you hand it to them because you don't want to accidentally cut them. Shut it in top tip. So, half the cherry tomatoes, right? Yeah. Do you know how to do that? 
Cut them in half like Yeah. Okay, but okay, I've got a tray tomato here. Yeah. If you can't get this, would you cut it in half like that? You're covering it, I can't. Do you like that? Right would you cut it in half? Yeah, don't worry, Ellie. So like so that? <laughs> Like you say, cut in half, but there's a bit of complexity to this. So how would how do you think this should be cut in half? That one's a bit skanky. So I'm gonna have that one Actually, then. Whatever. Is it, do you right? You're a chef, Liam. No. No, I don't like it. Have that one. Some of them are a bit skanky. You go like this, Liam, because you want to get the seeds out. So you are you want to cut it in half like do this. Do you want to get the seeds Ooh, out? That is not. A, it says that's the next step. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, this is not I can a give a, a cat top tip. Dip. Dig the sharpest point of the knife into the end of the tomato first, and then slice downwards. So I. Uh, so if we do it like this, dig the sharp point in first and then slice down with that. You cut like half of it. I didn't like that tip one bit. Yeah, but it made it a lot easier to cut it. Yeah, oh I my know. god, just phone is a point. nightmare. I burned the phone. Anyway, so now, now what do we do? We dig out, cut on oh the screen turned off. <laughs> I've lost it, Liam. I, I can fix that. So you're going to have to get my face associated to your phone if we're going Absolutely to use your not. phone. Uh, use a small sharp knife or teaspoon to remove the seeds. Do you think you can be trusted with a small sharp knife or would you prefer a teaspoon? I can do it with a knife. Alright, and um, we want to remove the seeds and that's... How many of these do we, do we need? It says 100 grams worth and that bag has 250 grams, so... Oh, okay, we'll just eyeball it then. So... Good one. There you go. Just remove the seeds. Do you want to come in between us? I, I can stand in between you if you really like. Yeah, there we go. And that way you can really see the magic that's happening here as we just... <laughs> this wow. is, what else are we removing? That whole middle bit? Yeah, just oh, the seeds. Oh, like that? Yeah. So you just want this this shell, really, that's left. So should I be digging out all this good stuff? Is that a seed? Well, you just want to do the same with that half as you did with the other one. All right. It's not complicated. I don't love this. Should have used a teaspoon. Oh, look at that, that one's perfect. There's a way to do it then, but I don't know what it is because I did it by accident. We'll see if you can figure it out with your next one. So I'm just trying to cut this out. And it's not gone terribly, but a small teaspoon might have made it easier. Yeah. Do you want a small teaspoon then? Uh, I'll, get, I'll get us both one and we can compare and contrast and then let the viewers know what the best option is. is cooking magic. Uh, so what you will tend to find when you have a sous chef is everything should go quicker. <laughs> it's not. This is taking us way too long. It's fine. Um, so I'm just going to cut it. The amount of time it's taking you both is probably at least twice as long as it would take me doing it. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't know what your point is there though. <laughs> you're slow. <laughs> no, this is cooking, isn't it? Do you feel like you're cooking yet, Ellie? Yeah. Liam, in yeah. one of your recent episodes, yes. you gave the top tip, when you're done with it, yeah. just be done with it. Yeah. What happens if I'm done with it really early? Oh, no, you've got to have a sensible amount. Got you. Before you can be done with it. I see. So I think, like, um, recently I, I had to cut something like four to five carrots. Um, I got done it at four. Didn't do the fifth. Yeah, great. That's, that, that's when it's okay to be done with it. Okay. The, the teaspoon does help. The teaspoon's pretty, pretty good. And so, what part of the uh, eyeball pasta is this? Because these aren't really evenly... Oh, I've left a load of seeds hey, in that one. what part of the eyeball pasta do you think that is? The tomato part? <laughs> what part of the eyeball do you think it is? Yeah, okay. Well, what part... Because that's the question, right? What part of the eyeball is that? The iris? Oh, the it's pupil? The, it's the actual eyeball. Oh, man, I don't understand. 100 grams of this. Let's do a couple more, and then we'll just move on, because no one wants to watch us do loads of this. <laughs> These are the eyeballs. Yeah, no, we'll do, we'll <laughs> we're do gonna more... Have, we're going to have a few eyeballs. We'll do more off-camera. Got you. Because Kat reckons she can do it twice as fast as us, so we'll put that to the test. I'm, I'm still pretty confident. Oh. oh, that really squirted. So one thing that you might find when you're cutting uh, tomatoes is they get a bit squirty, and that's when something like a Chef Liam apron will protect your clothing from any squirts that might happen. Didn't really get a good shot of the apron, but it's fine. But there you go. Yeah. Very Do you good. want to read out what it says, Catherine? Not particularly, but you can. I pooped today, cooking with Liam. Lovely. And it's brilliant because when you think about it, what does eating lead to? Pooping. There you go. 
Um, so, let's just do this one, and then we're just going to move on because you know honestly, what? What we could do, as I'm your sous chef, yeah, I could just carry on doing these tomatoes, and you could do whatever the next step is. That's a brilliant idea. If you want me to just, and this is why it's it's it's. Uh, I would highly recommend getting a sous chef if you can. Sometimes they have brilliant ideas. So if you want to just uh, look at what Eddie's doing there while I wash my hands. So I'm going to start moving on to a new ingredient here. What's the next step, Liam? The mozzarella stuff. Oh. But I need to read it on your phone to see what it says, don't I? Mm hmm. Where did I put your phone? Oh, it's over here. So I have to admit the camera work on this is shoddy. I'm not surprised. It's really awkward and I keep getting my hand in front of it. Oh, well. Uh, 150 gram pack of mini mozzarella balls drained. So. Because we don't have mozzarella balls, I don't need to drain them. Um, and what I need to do is cut the balls in half and place one half inside each tomato, trimming the, necess the edges if necessary to fit it in. Perfect, this is all making a lot of sense now. So basically, this goes into here. But I'll stack all these up for you. They're not ball shaped, so you're kind of just going to have to cut the shape to fit the tomato. Yeah, this is where maybe the, the, the teaspoon might be really useful, right? If you say so. I'll get a new one because he's using those. Oh no, I'll get all the gun called this one so you can use this one. No, it's the teaspoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you, got you, got you. So here's what I'm thinking. If you're not using balls that you cut in half, and to be fair, you've probably seen in the past when we've used mozzarella balls, they're massive. You ain't going to cut those in half and squeeze them in a tiny cherry tomato. Am I wrong there, Catherine? I mean, you're referring to buffalo mozzarella, which is a singular big ball of mozzarella. This recipe is referring to the little balls of mozzarella. Oh, whatever. Um, this isn't a very um, flexible cheese. Is that a problem? I don't know. If you get the right sort of shape, you're probably fine. Yeah. I wouldn't push it too hard. No, the tomato's not very structurally Yeah, sound. I broke the tomato a bit. Right. That I don't think is brilliant. Um, it said to cut it if you need to. So I'm going to cut it. I don't think there's a problem with cross-contaminating the mozzarella with the tomatoes. No. Right, so the, the first one. Because that's 250. I've yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's a good, good shout. So, um, this isn't... There you go. No. Is that okay? No. All right. Um, Does it look anything like an eyeball? Well, neither does this one that I did, but I've given no. up with that. Yeah. I hate it. But you oh. also have to stick some basil in it or something. Yeah. This is going really well. well. I think the problem here is we're not using mozzarella balls or a flexible cheese. Uh, I think also the, the problem is that you're not really considering the size of the tomato when you're cutting off the bits of cheese. All right, I'm going to get my sous chef to start cutting up the cheese then. This cheese needs to go inside tomatoes. Good luck. I'm going to put my hand up because I'm covered in tomatoes. Yeah, good thinking. Is that, is that a good... That's probably the closest you're going to get. Is it though? I reckon as, as we continue, we'll get better at this. Well, I mean, I, I don't mean to be a dick, but like... Oh, it sounds like something that's about to be a dick. When you're cutting off the bits of cheese, you're cutting them too long to fit into the well, tomato. I've already just started. <laughs> oh, it's too long, job. Yeah. It's difficult. It's right? you, he's not wrong, Cat. Here's the I thing. It's right? difficult. Here's something. This is this is the best thing about having a special guest on Cooking with Liam. I make this look easy. No, you don't. Is it as easy as I make it look, Ellie? No. I mean, you make yeah. it look more difficult than it is. No, that's I the feel like opposite I point I'm trying to make. You. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you did give the tomatoes. Is that good? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's more in line with, that's much with what we need. It's not, it's not like perfect, but it's better. Yeah. I'll tell you, let's just get, let's get the little cheese. Oh no, my hat's doing something. Is it? I don't know. I felt something give way. I don't know if it was my hair or my hat. <laughs> Your hair gave way. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, what we're doing here is we're making eyeballs. I mean, you're doing it in the laziest possible way. What? This is what you said to do, isn't it? No, it's just... Never mind. No, what? The fact this one at the front, I can't point because I'm holding this the This one? Yeah. Don't worry about it. They're eyeballs. Oh, Everyone's gonna... got different eyes. That's a, that's a fact. I'm just going to keep filming you doing the same thing. 
Well, yeah, it won't take long. Look at us. We've, we've got a real little um, conveyor belt going here. And basically what I want to do is I want to get a bit of cheese in all of them. And then we're going to have the job of just like making sure that all the cheese is even. So it might be you need little bits of cheese just to like make up the difference. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. Would you agree, Ellie, that this is a very flexible cheese? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a, it's not a flexible cheese. Yeah, thank you. So, all right. So I do I, think if you'd bought mini mozzarella balls. Would have gone better, but know who you're kicking for. Um, so, if, if Ellie, if you could just okay. look at the ones that are maybe missing some cheese. Yeah. And top it up with some cheese. That would be excellent. I'm going to wash my hands because the next step for the eyeball pasta is the basil. Isn't it? Yep. Why, why are you giving me a look? My, my arms are starting to hurt. <laughs> You've got this, it's fine. It's really awkward. Yeah, but you got it. Um, so the next step then with the basil, how's it going with the making the eyeballs look like eyeballs? Not very well. <laughs> I'm just sort of jamming more mozzarella into them. Either cut the smallest circles you can from a basil leaf or finely chop the leaves and scrunch into small circles. Is it time to get the mini chopper out, Catherine? I mean, you could use the mini chopper. It says to find the chop. I'm going to get the mini chopper out, I think. Which is here. Oh. It's okay. Good. Here we go, setting up the mini chopper. I'm not going to turn the power on yet. Is that right? Yeah, if it's yeah. attached properly, that's fine. So I twist it like that to, yeah, to lock it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we've got the basil, and I'm assuming all I need to do is just like scrunch it up and put it in. I mean, basil's got stalks again, hasn't it? They're just going to go stalks and all. They didn't make a difference last time, did they? I don't remember. I'm going to put a light on. As you might have noticed, um, it's not the best of weather today in the UK, so there's lots of cloud coverage and that's... Oh, God. Yeah, you're not going to put a stalk like that on, are you? No. That would be madness. Pure madness. This is just for little tiny pupils, so I don't think you're going to need a lot of it. No, I also don't oh. really know how you're going to stuff those into your... Are they making a pupil? These don't look like eyes. Yeah, that's, that, that's your job, Ellie. Make them look like ice. I can't. I've done the best job I can. How do you cook the tomato? Because won't the cheese melt as it cooks and then you put the pupil afterwards, wouldn't that? that you don't I... cook them, I think they literally just oh. go on top of the pasta. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the most minimal effort recipe I could find. You're still really making, like, a mountain of it, though. Probably not. Mm. I think this is going excellently. Ellie, are you having fun cooking? I'm having fun experiencing cooking with AM firsthand. But are you having fun cooking? Yes. That's that's the number one rule of cooking, isn't it? I thought washing your hands was the number one rule. It's it's maybe the most important rule. Oh, okay. I wouldn't it's say it's one. the number one rule. Got you. Now, Ellie, would you say that this is enough basil leaves to make pupils for that I amount said of that. eyes? That's, if we, if we're just putting a piece for each pupil, that's loads, isn't it? That's way it's too much. Uh, we'll be fine. I wouldn't chop it too fine. Just so like. Little flips, but do it the right way though. There you go. Every time. Ready? Stop! I only said to chop it a little bit. I did chop it a little bit. Is that some cheese on the floor? Uh, I might have dropped some cheese on the floor. Oh. It's fine. Okay, so now. You have to take the chopper pot out first. <laughs> How many times have you used this now? Clearly, not enough. No. All right, so cooking with Liam next. We're going to make pupils using this somehow. That, that's a I'll collection of just pick like pupils. One leaf or something. I don't know where that cheese went. That's fine, it's just right for me to step on. Thanks, Ellie. <laughs> so now you just put this in the middle. There you go, and now you've got some eyes. That doesn't look like eyes, does it? 
No. I really try not to laugh. <laughs> um, Ellie, do you want to come and take over? With... <laughs> No, 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 no. I think you've got to do this now. I've, I've tried. You can finish these ones. Well, what have you got to do next? If you've got something you need to do, I'll take over. I do have something I need oh, to do. Boil the pasta. Oh, we're not doing that yet, but I do need to put the pasta into a recipe. Right, fine. I'll, I'll take over doing pupils. Are we cooking all of that pasta? No. Okay. So... Mm, <laughs> Is this the right size pop? Yeah. Cool. Um, Ellie, let me ask you a question. Are you hungry right now? No. Oh. Is that a trick question? No, <laughs> because obviously we're going to be eating this oh, soon, imminently. Oh, uh, yeah, I, 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 could, I could eat. We might actually start one of cooking it soon. Is that start 11, 14, 14, 1 7. or 47? 47. 47. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to start. Oh. Cutting oh, it fine. We are. We are. Struggling. Don't worry, the eyeballs are nearly done. There's everything else that concerns me. We still got to do the hot dogs. That's the yeah, hard one. Yeah, that that'd be fine. So I'm gonna put how much this pasta am I, am I putting in? Just do like I don't know half the pack at the most. Should say that's about right. That's what's left in the pack. I mean, that's not half the pack. All right, I'll do a bit more then. Just a little bit. I don't know how many people are actually going to want to eat this. I'm going to be honest, not many, judging by what it's supposed to be and what it is. Mm. So I need to boil the kettle, don't I? Uh, we didn't prep this by having the kettle filled and ready. No. It's just occurred to me that I'm no, not convinced know. that pesto is vegan, so hopefully they're not true blue vegan. Well, uh, I don't need to put the pesto in until later, right? So maybe I'll figure that out. It's got cheese in it. Yeah, and milk and eggs. So all the things that vegans don't have. Wait, so what's the better pan pesto? Vegan or not vegan? Not vegan. Uh, it's right. not only that, it's also, it's got cow's milk in it. So it's Which I did also not, not lactose friendly. Okay, so don't we like might lactose. skip the pesto. Maybe um, you could just put some olive oil or something on it. Here's the eyeballs. Well, while the kettle boils, while that boils, what we're going to do is we're going to switch focus. We're going to start sorting out the hot dogs. Uh, do me a favour, Ellie. Yeah. While I get a big chopping board, can you tell me how to cook these hot dogs? <laughs> sure. Am I not getting any reprieve from filming for this whole thing then? It doesn't look like it. Right. Time is of the essence. Okay. I guess you could ask Dave to maybe step in and take take over the film and if you're really struggling. It's alright, maybe you just hurry up and get on with it. I'm trying. Do you want to microwave these men? Um, yeah. Okay. We just cook, cook on half power for one minute. Oh, that's easy. Two, okay. It says place two on a microwave plate. Should you right, cut I'll... them before or after? Before? Yeah, okay. I think it was, yeah. And really? what about the vegan ones? Uh, so what I'm going to do, because you don't want to cross-contaminate yeah. vegan things with meaty things, so this is now the vegan plate. All right, let's shout. <laughs> this is the vegan plate. So, I'm going to over here. Here's what you're going to do with your... your no, I don't know. I'm going to wash my hands. I don't want to contaminate the vegan stuff. Have you touched any meat? Not yet. But I might. Okay. Go on, wash your hands, isn't it, Catherine? Yep. Okay, so. Ellie, do you know what a fingernail looks like? Yep, I have them. Do you know what a knuckle looks like? Yeah. Do you know how to cut fingernails and knuckles? I don't think people want to see me cut a fingernail and a knuckle. I think you should give me an... I think as chef, you should cut one first. So I, I shall. know what I'm doing. First though, I'm going to put the boiled water over the pasta and we're going to get that going. Do you know how long it needs to cook for? Until it's cooked. Brilliant. I'd say about, what, five minutes? I don't know with linguine. I don't really cook with it. Is that...? Have you not added enough water? Oh no, you can, it's fine. It's fine. 
I can't, fine, right? I can't fix it with your stupid phone. So I can't get involved like I usually do. It's uh, 9 to 13 minutes of lingering it. Oh, even longer. On a high heat. Um, there you go. This is me fixing it, right? Yeah. That's what you would have done. Yeah. Probably wouldn't have used a spatula, but it's fine. Uh, it doesn't actually say heat wise. It just says uncovered stir occasionally. All right. So, Ellie. Yep. Occasionally stir this, please. Next, right, I'm going to do the vegan hot dogs first because they're for the guests. You want to look after your guests. Am I, just using, am I using the spatula to stir it? Yeah. Okay. You might as well, he's already dirtied it now. There you go. Anyway, um, just do that, do that. So, here we go. I'm going to cut a fingernail into this. Very yeah. delicately. There we go. Oh yeah, that's 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 a stronger start than I was expecting. I don't like this. Um yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No that no that this this could have gone really shit, but actually I mean you haven't done it yet, you're getting cocky. I'm not getting cocky, oh, I don't know what I do now. How yeah, do I, exactly, you got I, cocky. How do I get it out? Like I've sort of cut... A little spoon? Oh, nah, it's all gone wrong. Yeah, it's because you got cocky. No, nah, that's not why. It's because it's it's a lot harder than... There you go. <laughs> it's a fingernail, isn't it? Yeah. Then some knuckles. So to do the knuckles, you do a little, like, thing like that. Yeah. A little thing like that. Yeah. And a little thing like that. And then again, down this end. Thing like that. Wait, why are you doing more knuckles at the end of it? You have two knuckles, don't you? Look at a finger. Fingernail, oh, yeah. it's knuckle, just, it's knuckle. The, where the placement's weird, that's all. Don't worry about it. That's done, I guess. Hey, did you see what I did there? Yeah. Feel confident doing this yourself? Sure. All right. Well, this is the... Do you want to do the vegan ones or the, the meaty ones? What ones are you currently doing? The vegan ones. Should I do the meaty ones? Yeah, you're going to need a knife. Did you get a plate out for the meaty ones? I've got a chopping board for them, but um, oh, I've put the plate on it. Oh. That's all right, though. It's not been contaminated yet. Plus, you can't really contaminate the meat, can you? With what vegan, you I mean. About? You can't contaminate meat with vegan things. No. Oh, God, this is... That's a fact. Sorry, viewers, if you get vertigo. I'm trying to sort this bloody camera out. I'm just trying to, like, cut this without cutting myself, which is oh, much harder than you would have thought. Can you not chuck the remnants underneath the toaster? They're not underneath the toaster. They're exactly where they need to be. They're like a wizard. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna take a little break um, so Kat can rest her arms and stop huffing and puffing at me. Um, we'll be back when it's time to cook. So Ellie, what time is it now? No. Cooking <laughs> with Liam here in the kitchen. Cooking <laughs> with Liam and Ellie. Welcome back to Cooking with Liam. Now, I didn't read the whole thing like I should have done. Well, Every pasta. damn time. Meanwhile, heat through the tomato sauce. Hence why you can see time is of the essence here. I'm going to just pop this into this pan. Yeah? Okay. Oh, I thought it would come out more solid than that, but that's fine. Probably. Um, sauce. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to just heat that up. What sort of temperature? Just, just put it on low, otherwise it'll burn. Yeah, you don't want it to burn. I think the, the, the pasta's probably close to being... Jesus Christ, that's not low. Yeah, it's low enough, isn't it? No, that's the high heat on that one. This pasta's all right, though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to come and have a trip over to the, the meat hot dogs to see how they're looking. Some of them are all right, some of them are a bit not fingery. I mean, they, they look like fingers to me. Alright, um, can I borrow my sous chef, please? Uh, sous chef, yeah. would you say this pasta has been cooked? Uh, I can't remember how you test it. How do you test if pasta's been cooked? I'll just lift a bit of it up and see if it seems cooked. Is it soft enough? It or seems if... soft. Oh, yeah. I think it's done. Alright, I'm going to drain it then. You just had a phone call come through that I had to decline. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we're going to drain the pasta. 
Um, Penny, could you stir the tomato sauce for me, please, yep. using something that Kat will recommend? Uh, just that black spoon, that one will do, either one of those. Alright, so that's drained. Linguini. Linguini, uh, perfect. So, we've done that, we've done that. When the, it's when the type of the is cooked, drain and stir through the pesto. We're not going to do the pesto because it's not. Well, we can vegan. probably split the pasta in half. Yeah, we'll do. It's divided into four to six serving bowls. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do that first. No. Chef Liam, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Should you have left this whole one? No. If you can turn that off, that would be really helpful. Don't put them into the bowls first because it will be impossible to stir the pesto into. No, I'll, I'll put the ones I'm not putting the pesto in into right. bowls. Okay. And then I can stir the pesto through the rest. Yeah. We don't have six bowls, is that going to be a problem? Well, considering the fact that all Frankie would be getting is just plain pasta, I'm not convinced she's going to want any. Oh, should I have a bit of tomato sauce tomato on it? Tomato sauce, yeah. <laughs> all right, so it's not going to be a lot, to be honest, for everyone, because I think it's come out a bit shit, to be honest. Oh, how do you do this? Because it's all the tacotelli, it's all tacotelli together. Oh my God, this is chaos, I need to film this. How, oh no. How do I do this in a way that's not... We'll bad. probably use a spoon instead of a spatula. <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> now, bear in mind, we've got six portions to make out of this. Yeah. All right, so that's Frankie's. Why not, then? Why not serve up all six like close to each other and then at the end you can like, balance if you... Because I've got to stir pesto through what's remaining. Oh. Yeah. Oh, actually, also Dave's lacto-free, right? Yeah. So, two without pesto. Well, three, because Tom. No, Tom's oh. not lactose. Oh, yeah, oh, but the it's pesto not... is not a lactose thing, is it? It's a vegan thing. Yeah. So we're going to have half with pesto, half without pesto. Oh, do you remember how uh, Chef Liam had the top tip of know who you were cooking for? Just found out that one of our guests is allergic to raw tomatoes. So don't worry about that. Just don't give it to him. Solution. Um, one thing that you might find with cooking is people, if you're cooking with other people, um, and I'm not including Ellie in this, so this isn't a big at Ellie. But if you're picking with other people, they might throw a lot of problems at you. Or if you're picking for other people, and the thing to do with that is just come up with solutions. Really? That's my best advice. So I'm just going to carry on. So three with no pesto, right? Yeah. Oh. A little bit went on the draining board, but that's okay, isn't it? There you go. Alright, so there's, there's the three that won't have the pesto in. Do you reckon this will be another like good three, four? What yeah, I mean, there's loads left. You don't have to use it all. all right, I'm going to put pesto through that then. How'd you, how'd you do that? Just get a couple of tablespoons of, or however many the recipe says, and stir it in. Oh, what does the recipe say then? How's the um, smart sauce coming? I'm stirring it until you tell me to stop. Stop. I don't want to burn it. Do you reckon that's okay to stop? Is it? Is the pan warm? It's, uh, there's like it's slightly steamy. Steamy. Oh yeah, that's fine then. Stir through the pesto. It just says stir through the pesto. It says four tablespoons. Yeah. Alright, so let me get some tablespoons out. Okay, so this is a tablespoon. Where's the pesto gone? Down a bit. There it is. Found the pesto. Here's the pesto. Uh, right. It doesn't say if they've got to be heat to anything now, because I don't really like pesto that much. I'm just going to do it. That's one. Why, why did you possibly pick this recipe? Looked easy. And quick. I mean, none of those have transpired, and also they're not suitable for most of the people yeah, here. Exactly. Oh, there you go. So that's <laughs> Didn't you say two teaspoons? Two tablespoons? Four. Oh, was it four? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So I'm going to stir this through. While I'm doing that, Ellie, could you start microwaving the hot dogs, please? So yes. there's the vegan hot dogs over there. Do I get to just chuck this plate in your plates? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You only did four. Oh, I did all of them. Is that? That's fine. I only did four because I didn't think that they'd want more. But if they want more, I can make more for them. They're not difficult. So as you can see right now, I'm just stirring the pesto. Oh, do you know how to... Uh, hang on. I'll, I'll... Is it two minutes? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. All right, from now on, there you go. Stop. Oh, like the power level... 30 seconds. So the hot dogs are now in. 30 seconds for the vegan hot dogs. Um, show that pesto sufficiently stirred through. 
I think as so. much as it's going to be. I yeah, think. let's give it a pesto spoon. Um, okay, so now... Uh, sous chef. Yes. Would you like to... You saw me dishing out these three bowls. Would you now like to dish out the remaining pesto, uh, pasta, pesto stuff, into three bowls that I will find? So what are you doing while Ellie, Ellie does that then? I'm now going to dish up the hot dogs that I've just cooked. Okay. There's one, and I've got one over here. So another chef in top tip, don't cook two things at once, it's a nightmare. Stupid idea. Also don't get me to try and film two people at once because it's a nightmare. Yeah. So here you go, here's the cooked vegan hot dogs. Um, this bread's vegan, isn't it? I mean, the that one? Yeah, that one. I don't think that's a vegan thing, bread. is it, bread? What was that happening? I don't think bread's a vegan thing, is it? Bread's not vegan? No, I mean, I, I don't know about vegan stuff, mate. I just bought bread. Alright. I'm sure it'll be fine. So here's a hot dog. There you go. Finger in it. I'm not going to put ketchup on it, because I don't know how people want their ketchup done. But that's that without the blood. Um, I'm going to put those on the plate. What? Where should I put this one? I'll just chuck it on the side. I don't know why that's tea time there right now. Uh, how long did the meat hot dogs save? Uh, they're in for, uh, I think it's on half hour for one minute. Half hour for one minute. Half hour? Yeah. Huh? I've, I've put them in for like half a minute and see if they're hot enough because yeah. we don't have half and full power. Okay. You've done a lot well, of... Well, I think uh, we do, but I don't know how it works. No, you've done a lot of hot dogs here. I just, I just did them. Liam, just cook the ones that you think we're going to actually One, use. One, two, three, four. I'll do six for now. Okay. <clears throat> Plenty. Yeah. Okay, so this is going in for... Did we say half a minute? Yeah, yeah and then... Do half a minute and full power and see if they're hot. Can't say. Okay, so, they're in, um, I've got to wash my hands because I've touched this me. This is all good? Yeah. Right, so, as you can see, this has now been dished up. Um, I think the next step with that is to just add the bolognese onto it. Yeah, so I think everybody's getting that. Yeah, so, spoon over some tomato sauce, then arrange the stuffed tomato eyeballs on top. So, here we go. Everyone's getting some of this, are they? So everyone's yeah. getting some of the sauce, yeah. I'm just going to do a little bit in each bowl first, and then um, more later, if, if need be, right? I'm going to put these in for another 30 seconds, though. Good idea. Do you remember how to do it? Yeah. Cool. Famous last words. Okay, so this, this is coming along really nicely, I think. Yeah, don't worry about using all of it if you've... I just I want to make sure it's pretty even. So the three pesto ones. Yeah. These three. Keep these away from the vegans. So, Ellie. Yep. Now that this has been done, the next step is to place the eyeballs just delicately on top. Got you. Do okay. you want to show me an example of what to do so I can learn from each other? I'd love like to. I'm just going to wash my hands before that because um, I touched the meat. Has exploded. <laughs> I'm sure that means it's cooked, right? Oh, yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's definitely it's just, cooked. It just, it's just gross. The thing with fingers is sometimes they can explode, like in real life. Uh, okay, so if you come over here, Catherine, what we're going to do now is we're going to remember gonna... one of the non pesto ones, yeah. no tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use a pesto one as an example. And now you've got an eyeball in it. Yeah. Now you've got an eyeball in it. Now you've got an eyeball in it. So, Ellie, do you see what I did there? It might be the, like, haze of filming this show, but they're starting to look a bit like eyeballs to me, which uh, yeah. they definitely don't. But... No, 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 they, they, they definitely do. Um, so, I'm going to just finish off dishing up the vegan hot dogs. Oh, God. It's really hard to get them in the, in the buns. Oh, come on, there you go. 
Um, I, know, I deliberately got pre-cut buns for you. Also, just be aware that there's only a pack of six buns. Oh, okay. All so right. <laughs> everyone gets one bun then. Um, all right. So now I'm going to do the meat ones. It doesn't matter if you touch vegan first and then meat. That's fine. Meat and vegan, big no-no. These have been really well cut, Ali. Well done. Thank you. So as you can see, I've got my my finger in the in the bun there, and then what I'm going to do to make it look all bloody is get some of the ketchup. And I'm just gonna, oh, there you go, blood. That's good, isn't it? One appetite. Mm. One, oh, actually, here's a chef name top tip. Um, I'll eat this one. When you're using ketchup, if you haven't used it in a while, do a little squirt where you're not eating it, because sometimes there's this like, horrible watery stuff that comes out, and you, no one wants that. You know, if you just shake up the ketchup on first, that goes right. That's a very good point. So there's two options you've got there then. So, whichever one you would prefer, um, this is how you shake it up. Don't look at me for approval, <laughs> I'm your sous chef. Uh, and then, once more, there you go, bloody hot dog fingers, there's your bloody hot dog fingers, here's your bloody um, eyeball, bloody pasta stuff, here's Ellie. Um, we done? I think so. So all that's left to do is the taste test, but before that, should we sing the song one more time, Ellie? Cooking with Liam here in the kitchen. <laughs> Cooking <laughs> with Liam and Ellie. And Ellie. Okay, so we're here with everyone with the taste test. Catherine, are you tasting the hot dog first? Oh, we literally just... Yeah, go on. Take stop, <laughs> stop taking the time. That's it, stick it in. And now now the pasta. Oh, you have to do a chain in. Oh, yeah. Should I do the pasta while she's... Yeah, go on then. Right, here we go, Are we alternate? What's happening? Does that mean I do... We're taking it in turns. So do I do hot dog, though? Because Dave did pasta. Yeah. That means I'm a cake, so I... You're pasta first. There we go. All right, Eddie, stick a hot dog in. Tom, you're on pasta duty, I guess. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's no, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we were appreciating everyone else eating it. No, it's just a picture of you eating. That's the eyeball pasta. And then, Frankie, you're on hot dog, I guess. <laughs> and then back to Kat for pasta. No, you. Oh, we're going around. I've, I've not got time. <laughs> We're doing the other and then over to Dave yeah. for hot dog. Yeah, now you have to go on the other one that you didn't do. Then we have to go around for final reviews because no one said what they thought. <laughs> oh god, uh, is it me, Liam? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> and then Tom. It's quick fire. Hello, <laughs> 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 <No>, Frank. <laughs> and then Kat, what did you think of that? Both are very nice, well done. You're very welcome. Dave, what are your yeah, verdict? Uh, very it definitely tastes like tomatoes and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what about the hot dogs? Because oh, I'd be worried if that yeah, tastes like tomato cheese. It tastes, it tastes, tastes like, like meat, dog, right? yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Ellie? Yeah, the hot dog's fine and the pasta's okay. Did you enjoy cooking with Liam? I enjoyed cooking Literally with Liam. cooking I with Liam? I did enjoy cooking with Liam. Tom? Best eyeballs and fingers I've ever had. Fantastic. <laughs> Frankie? I'm not gonna lie, I just got a mouthful of bread on the hot dog, but the, the, the bread was good. It's and almost the pasta, like you were rushed. The, 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 all right, the pasta so was also good. Since we've got some guests here, let's all sing the song together then. Oh we're all gonna know it. Ready? <laughs> Cooking yeah. with Liam here in the kitchen. <laughs> Cooking with Liam. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.